Apparently I was muted. <laughs> Sorry. Um, hello everyone and welcome to a uh, first of our Tipper's workbench is in a very long time. Um, this is uh, just sort of a building stream because as you probably guess like everybody else in and their mum out there um, I have got a copy of, well, I, I'm sorry, I apologise, I shouldn't say that, I know there's some people desperately waiting for theirs and I shouldn't say that, that's that's not the right thing to say. Um, I'm allowed to be excited, but I'm, I'm allowed to be excited, I'm sorry, I was excited, but everyone in the mum who wants to have it, basically, is has has either got it or is is, is, is on the way, it's being made to order. Um, and so, um, I've got um, here this, the, uh, the, the new box, I'm going to be trying to build a combat patrol. Um, because I want to have uh, a basic 25 point crusade force um, and uh, that can tie nicely into um, the, begin the first unit of my army which is I've got, a, I've got a dreadnought that I want to try and include in there as well. Might not be possible but uh, I, I don't but I would like to try and get it in if I possibly can as part of my my first crusade force. So um, looking at this, but looking at the amount of power some of these things are, I might have to wait until I get my next requisition points to to add the dreadnought in because otherwise I'll have like the dreadnought, five intercessors, and one guy. That'll be pretty much the entire army. So um, I'm going to be just doing a bit of painting and building today. Uh, well, building most likely more than painting because I've got quite a lot to build. Um, but yeah, so I'm looking through the, the army book and uh, it's, I'm going to be starting with um, my Space Marines. I'm gonna, then when I've got a combat force ready for them, I'm going to move over to Necrons and then sort of slowly build up either way. So I've got a force of each. Um, I'm probably going to go with the Primaris Lieutenant as my hero. I love my Chaplain because I haven't seen many people painted the Chaplain yet. And he does look really cool and I wouldn't mind actually painting something a bit different in that aspect because I'm, I play Blades of Vengeance which are a Dark Angels successor chapter and so I really feel that I should have something pretty dark and gritty. I mean actually the Judah car is probably the most dark and gritty. But before you get into that, don't forget the shout Sorry? Oh, sorry. I mean, I mean shout it out about shout outs. Um, okay, so I'd like to say thank you very much to those people who support our channel. Um, that is, um, we've got, uh, sorry, I've got my, my lovely little list here, which tells me who's, who's in there. Um, our Patreon supporters, um, Kellen and Plutonium OD, thank you very much to you, and Base of Operations as well, thank you very much as well for your support. Uh, even though you're members of our community, it really means a lot. Um, also, thank you again to Pluto, and uh, again, and to Just Bob for being our Twitch sponsors. Uh, being Twitch um, subscribers, and uh, yeah, we absolutely love you guys. Thank you so much for everything that you do for us. Um, we're going to be doing some. We're going to be doing the. Um, uh, we're going to take a break. We're going to be doing the um, tapestry where we show off um, some work from different people um, over the week. Hopefully, we'll get some more to show you on Saturday, which is our Dungeons and Dragons day. But this is kind of a repeat of what we showed on Saturday. Um, there's some lovely, lovely models in there, including some by yours truly. So about that <laughs> all right so I think the first thing I've got to do is I'm gonna go for an assault intercessor squad of five men I'm gonna go for a five-man assault intercessor squad because that is a nice beginners unit now you might I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna you might see when I'm looking through this that I seem to have doubles of things and that is because my girlfriend also uh, also wanted the Indomitus box um, and so, because uh, she loves Necrons, and so I bought her a box as well. So we, we so she got one uh, under, ordered under her name uh, for her, and I ordered one under my name. But then, um, because she doesn't really play Space Marines, I which she doesn't like, I traded her my Ossiark Bone Reapers from my Age of Sigma army over to to them. So so we basically swapped so that she could have a bigger skeleton army in both fantasy and in Age of Sigmar. So, uh, if you see, as I said, if you see me holding up multiples of things, it's only because my girlfriend had a whole box, uh, had a box of her own, and so did I, so I'm not I trying to, to yeah, so I, I didn't, I didn't scalp or buy it second hand off anybody. This was literally just doing it properly. 
That's what you get when you've got a partner that's a geek as well. Yeah, that's great. Best thing that can happen to you. Okay, so we're going to start with some assault intercessors. I think these are pretty much the same on either way, so I don't know if that means that when you do the assault intercessors, basically you get to choose which one is your sergeant and you can sort of like swap out the sergeant bits because I'm going to be doing these as so I've got this one ah, does that mean that they are the same one they can alternatively be made in a separate way ah, okay so the seven so the assault intercessor sergeant you can make in two different ways which I actually really like. So what's that? I've got two sergeants. I do like his plasma pistol though. But I do like having the idea of having two different sergeants, so I'm not going to make two of the same thing. Yeah. Oh well. Two alternate sergeants. That works. I know people say you should give him a plasma pistol, but I, 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 I'm kind of rule of cool, and if I can get two ones that don't look exactly the same, I'll be happy about it. So let's, uh, let's start by doing a bit of clipping. So I'm going to build my sergeant first. And one thing I love about this book, which I absolutely love, is this. They've got a base chart now, so I can tell what size the bases are properly. I'm really happy about that. I've always had I've always had to like go on the internet and try and do like a, a comparison of size, which doesn't really work for me to be honest. So uh, I need a one, a. A1 and A2, well that's, that's, that's sensible. So A, that body, that body, A1, here we go. Got my nice citadel clippers. Don't clip off the hexagon thing, because that's how they <laughs> stick into the base. These are like push fit, no glue ones. Now I use glue because I find that using plastic glue helps like blur the lines a little bit. So A1 and A2, which I'm assuming is this one here, yeah. But I've heard, I mean, I, I'm, I've, I've been quite excited about this for a long time ever <laughs> since I saw it was coming out. I've been wanting Space Marines on bikes for so long. And as a Dark Angels player, or rather, well, a successor chapter of the Dark Angels, you know, bikes are really important to them. It's like one of their main things that they can have. And so, um, it's A1, A2, and A3. I like this. They've actually been sensible about, about it. Um, A1, A2, A3. So I should have a, she uh, a front with a shield on it. Oh, I like that. His plasma hand is is um, electro is uh, cybernetic, like he said, his hand blown off once before. Pretty cool. Um, so A1, A2, A3. Now, why can't they just go next to each other? It's like, one's over here, two's over there, three's on the other side, there's three. On the other side. That's right. Now, I know everyone, I, I, I know that I'm like, I'm definitely late to the party building my Indomitus box there, but it's been so hot here in Andorra that I've been, I haven't had the, the energy to sit down and actually do anything. It's just been like absolutely oof, horrible, horrible, horrible. I need A5. See, I'm not a big fan of Space Marines without their helmets. Do I have to use this helmetless head? Is that because the heads look really small? No, I just, like, I just don't like painting faces unless I absolutely have to. <laughs> Plus, it always makes no sense to me. Wear your, wear your helmet. You're going to get shot in the face. Wear your helmet. So I might... Substitute the other head, which I believe is... I mean, it doesn't matter if they're almost the same. So that's a, a 9. Let's do A9 instead. 
because I don't really like helmetless heads. Just have to. Now these are my Blades of Vengeance. But the, the one reason also that I want the, the the one reason also I want my guys to have this this grill is because it's actually part of their color scheme. They get a very, they get a different colored grill to the rest of their helmet, mm -hmm. so they have like a a, 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 a bone colored grill instead of green, and it's actually part of their color scheme. And it's like they don't have it. Ah, it doesn't look like it doesn't look like them. So it annoys me. Um, so then he needs to have his ha oh well he shouldn't have his helmet on his on his side. Oh that's a problem. So if he has this thing there, he's gonna have a gap, isn't he? Um, so if he doesn't have a helmet in his head, he actually has this stuff on his side. And if he does have it, then he's gonna have a gap, isn't he? Where he should have something in his belt. I just love how you coined the frame helmety head. Do you have a spare sword? <laughs> oh, Alright, dang you, dang you GW. I was foiling my schemes. Alright, so he's gonna have to have the helmet on his side, because otherwise it's gonna look really weird that he's got two chainsaws. Just brought a spare! <laughs> so where's his pocket thing? It's A8. I've got some Dark Angels pieces somewhere, but I just don't know where they are at the moment. So I won't use those. A8. Ah, there you are. because I'll remember which one goes with which. Um, until it's the moment. Otherwise, if I take it off, I'll forget where it goes. So that, 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 that. I need the head. As far as I yeah, you can't even cut that off. See, if you cut that off, it's going to look really good. I suppose you could cut it off and file it down, but I just don't have the energy for that. Um, okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five. I need a six. A six, a six. Sorry, is it six or nine? See, this is it. I'm holding it upside down. I thought it was a nine. It's a six. So 
at the moment, I'm just turning a 32mm base. Gonna check out the chart. Thirty-two millimeters on the top. Which I am excited about it. How could you tell? Okay, so let's see the thing about Dom is to give me everything I wanted, but 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 nothing I needed. <laughs> Really want it? Do you need it? No, but I want it. Buy some new furniture for the flat in comedies. Sorry, I'm a little bit blurry. Totems everywhere, it's really well done. I really hope that, that army manages to be a focus on um, PW's website at some point because that was really, really nice. It's nice that they showed off Meltings as well. Yes. That was on um, Saturday on their preview. Done so much better with the mobile lines on this one, like they're much more subtle. Like Dark Imperium had some was great models, but had some serious mold line problems. They're just so prevalent. 
you've built the Death Star, there are all these little horns and everything, and you're trying to get them. So clean up and around and around. Can we get back there? This is where you check everything in the light, just to make sure, because knowing my luck, the minute I start putting everything else together, and you start getting... No! That's where the model line was. And you won't see it until you prime the model. And when you primed it, it's too late. Well, actually, it's not too late. You can always go back. Just scrape it off and add some more black paint on. But it does leave a mark where the black paint has been added afterwards, which is a bit annoying. Okay, so I'm getting my first assault. Inter I'm getting my assault as inter a sergeant into 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 position right now uh, for my Blades of Vengeance. It's going to be my combat patrol. And what I'm doing is when I'm when I've got it all together, I'm going to do a video I think, on YouTube just to show it off. I just like this is how I'm starting my army. Hopefully, show as it grows and it's painted over time. Give me some incentive to get some painting done frequently. Get it all painted up, looking nice and pretty. Um, it's, I mean, the, I mean, GW came out recently. I think it was on Monday this week, and they showed off the new starter boxes. Um, and these starter boxes come in three different layers. So you've got the recruits, the elite, and the command box. I think it's commander. Uh, but either way. Um, they've gone kind of an interesting way with it because the first, the, the recruit is actually not bad the box set. You get a cool hero, which you didn't get in the previous one, which um, I think is a major, major thing because like, like um, I, I, as a teacher who runs an after school club for Warhammer, for my kids, mainly Age of Sigma, but they have expressed interest in 40k. And like when you give them the get started box set, or we get the get started box set you've got um, and my main issue was that you, these units came in units of three, and like you don't play with units of three in 40k, you play with five, yeah. you know, and that really annoyed me because I'm like, how are you going to, use, who's ever going to use these units of three? No one is going to use them. You have to buy two extra units in order to make it a, a full unit. I, I don't like it when GW does like a box and doesn't give you the full unit you need to play like in, in a proper game or, or even just to look like a proper unit, you know? And so like when I was um, looking when I was looking at uh, the, the old I think it was called First Strike, you got three Reavers, three Intercessors, three Plague Marines, and I think you got six Plague Walkers. Now first of all the plague walkers are going to be coming in units of twenty or something anyway, but but they but they don't they have never come in anything other than in um, little uh, push fit boxes, so that's okay. You can always sort that out. Um, your intercessors, you kind of have to, you have to have a unit of five unless you're playing open warfare, and if you're playing uh, reavers, you have to have a unit of five as well. Um, plague marines come in units of seven normally because that's their holy number. And so when you when you see that, it's like, well, I understand what you're trying to do. This is like a, just an introduction set. You're trying to give a few models of people the pain, even just to be spread out amongst people in the club. But oh, at least the headaches later on. Um, whereas now you get a lieutenant and five intercessors on one side, and you get the. Um, Necron equivalent of a lieutenant, the Royal Warden, and a set of ten Necron Warriors on the other side, as well as three Scarabs. So you actually get a decent unit. And if, and the thing which is interesting about that is, like, I would go and buy that to bolster my units as well. Even even uh, that would uh, that would give you who already have an army to buy that as well, because you get you get ten Necrons, which is not nothing to sneer at. If you want to buy your ten Necron Warriors. Um, you also get your Royal Warden, gets you, gets you a, a hero, which you could convert or you could trade off or whatever, someone else. Um, you get a Lieutenant, which is a really beautiful model in this set, um, with the Volkite pistol, and he's a decent Lieutenant. I think a lot of people will want the set 
just for his model. Even, I mean, I, I can definitely see we're going to see a lot of giveaways and things for that, like painting sets. Like, oh, uh, who wants to win a lieutenant with a Volkite pistol um, and a shield? I mean, he's a beautiful model. And so that's, those models are normally 20 quid on their own. You know, and just and to get that as part of a starter set is really good. Plus five assault intercessor, which is a full-on unit. Brilliant. At least like the ones I'm making now. Absolutely brilliant. And so that I think is I guess it might maybe it's gonna be a little more expensive, it might be 30 quid instead of 25 or something. Which is still nothing to sneer at. But if you and your friend wanted to get started on playing an army and one wants to play Necrons, and one wants to play Space Marines. That's actually not bad. You pay 15 quid each. You get um, a starting unit, and you get a and you get a hero. That's not bad. Then you have the commander. Then you have the elite one, which gets you three bikers. Which again, as a, as a player who's probably going to be using a lot of bikes, I actually might buy that box set just because I want the bikes. Um, if they don't come out on their own quickly enough. And then you get five more assault intercessors, again. Nothing wrong with that. Good strong uh, good strong unit to include in your army. It's a basic troop choice, so you're probably going to have about 20 of them in your army anyway, unless you want to play like with pistols instead, with uh, guns instead, which is again another option. Um, oh, wait, fine. And, and so that's uh, that, that's a good uh, that's good. You also get the, um, the the general with his with his shield again. A beautiful model, very powerful model as well in gameplay terms. So people will use him. Um, and then on the next one side, you get ten warriors. You get a a lord, and you get scorpion destroyers. Those guys with the three figure, the three legs, and the big swords on their arms. Which are again nice models and six and three scarabs. So that's actually for I don't know that might be a starter set that might cost you fifty quid. But split it between the two friends, twenty five pounds each. You've got two units plus the lords. I mean that's a good start for your army. And if you both want to buy a set and then you both want to you know I'll give my necrons to you and you give your space marines to me. Gets you six bikers, ten ten guys and a, and a, and a general. Um, although what I would do in that case is probably I would go, I would buy the recruit and the elite together, and that way you get an extra ten Necron warriors, you get the lieutenant, and you get a lieutenant and, ten, and five more assault marines, and that way you've got a like an extra hero in your army, which is worth it since heroes are like normally fifteen quid on their own, and it's in a blister pack. Um, I've been going on at this one model for a while. I did actually check them actually getting all the mold lines. Not just chipping away at the details. Um, but yeah, so that's that's good buy. Now, the command box is the one which is a bit of a. Um, I wouldn't say anything wrong with it. I would just say it's. I, I would be interested in seeing how much they're going to charge for it. The reason being is because those models do not change. From the previous thing I mentioned, you get the same amount of models, but you get some terrain and you get the book. The problem with that is, if there's two of you and you're splitting it, then then, then there's only one book, so you'd have to like decide who gets that. Um, the terrain is good. I mean, that's a really, I think, an interesting choice. As I think, uh, I think this Kirioth was talking about as well. He said it's an interesting choice, and in a way, I agree with him because. You kind of, it gives you a battlefield in a box, so you've got your terrain, you've got some models, you've got a book to play, you've got everything you need to play 40k. On the other hand, we wouldn't be the first people who play 40k with a couple of books piled up on the table and said, that's a building! You know? <laughs> um, like we did multiple times, actually. Um, but, so there, there are some definite pluses there. My only negative is you don't really get a huge amount of models. Whereas you look at Dark Imperium, what I would what I would have done to kind of make that a little bit better is maybe give them at least one more thing in there, like for the Space Marine, give them the Blade Guard veterans, or give them the guys with the big melter guns, and for the uh, Necrons, give them the um, 
the War of the Worlds Walker creature. And that way you get a hero, a unit, an elite, and a monster. And that's basically a get started box set. It is, yeah. So I'm not saying they're being stingy, I'm just saying that it would have been nice maybe to give them just like one more thing to have in that box for new players. Um, I mean, the Dark Imperium box set. I mean, the Dark Imperium box set you got on the Death Guard side, you got three heroes. You got the uh, Lord of Pestilence, I think he is. Um, you got the. Let me just check, I've got my mold line sorted. Get the brush. Get all those pesky little bits of plastic out. Sit on the model. Um, yeah, so the command box, again, I think it's an interesting choice to include terrain. Terrain's good, I like terrain. Um, it makes the battlefield awesome. I actually quite enjoy painting it as well when I, when I get around to it, which is not very often, to be honest. Uh, mainly because we've got a lack of space to learn. I've got to get some shoals up. Otherwise, we're not going to have any space at all. Um, Damn you, thing getting stuck in there. Whoa! Don't think I stuck this little plastic gear on the top. If I can, it's quite, quite healthily chipped onto there. So I'm, 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 I'm a little bit on the fence with the box set, just because I think the media... After, I mean, you saw all the beautiful things that come in Domitus, you'd think that maybe they'd give you one more thing in there, just to really give you a, a monster or a vehicle to paint. Um, so I would have maybe done that, but you know what? I, we'd, I don't know what price is, maybe they're going to put the price down to make it like more affordable, like 75, 80 euros. I'm kidding. I think it's probably going to be like a hundred, but that might be interesting. Like, really make it more accessible as a starter set goes. Even a starter set, like a hundred euros, is not as is nothing to sniff at. 
the amount of money you put you invest into a hobby, you know? Like six starter sets to actually finish myself. Got this one, the Gage of Sigma one, which is still not finished yet, the first one. And the second one. And then I've got T Dark Imperium to finish off as well, which I still didn't finish because I'm always jumping from one project to another. I need to actually do that. And then Shadow Spear. I think I've cursed you with that because I don't think you were ever like that one. I, I blame you. It's all your fault. Yeah, I, I love I you, but I blame I you. I do take the blame for that. You fight know, I always end up jumping onto the new project. Which is great, because it means I've got tons of things to finish. So many names. I don't have any ideas though. The new stuff. Oh yeah, I thought that thing was a good thing. Ah! Silly. No, I just need to remember that, that head just needs to go in before I put the body on. Where's the head? Okay, I'll put an old line around. Put this model together already, I'm loving how dynamic this is looking. Seriously dynamic looking kit. I mean the other the other ones from um the other set were great, but they just weren't very dynamic. They're kind of standing there with the guns, pretty static. Whereas this definitely looks like the guy's running forward to smash someone in the face. Can I smash you in the face? No? What's your bad friend, mother? I'll never forgive you, Necrons, for what you said about my ma. That's not compute. What is this ma? Yeah. You're, you're denying the existence of my ma. I'll kill ya. I'll kill ya. No. But we can earn force. We might look scary, but we're not evil. <laughs> There is a custom to show how evil we are. We're so even. <laughs> Your world's greatest villain. Wasn't Doctor Evil like Austin Powers' brother or something in the end? Which made yeah, no Davey, sense to me whatsoever. Davy Powers. Bobby Powers. I just got started on my Blackstone Fortress <laughs> stuff when this stuff came out, and I'm like, I can do it. I can get to. To be fair, I could have, yeah. It's December it came out, I think. <laughs>
there's some really nice little touches on these models. Like if you look at like the va the van brace of all the Space Marines in the entire unit, they all have this little badge on the arm, like that. Oh yeah. And that's to that's show that that's that's like their battle honor to show they were part of the Indomitus Crusade, um. which is like who fought against. Um, it's your participation chaos badge. It's a medal. Oh, it's a medal. It's, it's, it's an honour. <laughs> it's not like a runner-up trophy at a soccer game. Well, it's it's okay, kids. You didn't get promoted, but here's your trophy. Well done for joining. You can wear it on your van brace. The van brace to show everybody what good boys you were. Yes, Mr. Prime Officer. Well, well. That's a love another day in the core. So, what is Space Marine Marvin? Space Marine Marvin's not with us. He couldn't come. His brother wouldn't let him. Leave his position. One thing about these bloody chainsaws is we go under each of them. My goodness, you are never satisfied, are you? No. Well, then. <laughs> Actually, they haven't done too bad. In the old ones, the modelers are right under the teeth. It's impossible to get them out. I'm hearing that people go on you know, they're not the chainsaws I remember. Marvin! Oh you forgot me. <laughs> Hashtag bring back the old chainsaws. Just remembered, these guys are even part of my army over there. I'm gonna have to be doing like little murals on each of their bloody things. <laughs> but what they do is. I would like, I would like you to do sort of like Lucifer versus Gabriel style things. Angels in the background, demons, um, sort of black robes, petals falling. Um, along with a mule with a mule in the background. Um, yeah, you no, know, it's just like really super simple. Mm -hmm. I 
one more. That was a big fan, wasn't it? Yeah. So, Red Rage or something, like, you know, it's like... Wasn't it from, um... Tre it was like they did a treasure hunt. And he's like, the, the, oh, the coins were in your pockets the whole time. We're all winners, even I'm a winner! <laughs> and he's like, run. The stupidest thing I've ever heard. Run to India. I don't get that, because I really like. I quite like murder mysteries. It wasn't murder mystery, it was, it was, um, it was scavenger well, hunt. No, no, it wasn't murder mystery. No. He dies, he goes on the floor. No, that's a different one. Oh. They, 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 the, it's it's a scavenger hunt when they go searching for oh. um, the golden coin and they have to go to like all these different... Golden stones and Penny gets it because it's a band. Yeah. yeah. Whenever I'm going to show you. Don't you want to know how I figured it out? No, no one likes to show off Penny. Yeah. No, one, no one likes to know it all, Penny. Yeah. Show off, because he calls um, uh, Raj's uh, sister the know it all with the, the toast. Sure. They explained it because Sheldon would told them. I always like this how it, like he makes like the toast, the Cylon toast, and the, to the toast with the robot face in it. Mm -hmm. and, he, and he's like just sitting there. He's like he's got like a whole loaf of bread, and he's just made it because he wants to see the little alien face, the, the little robot face on it. And he's like Cylon toast. And they've been really clever by doing that hex point because it gives them a really strong connection to the base. That's good actually. Like it's connected directly to his foot, so it's not gonna break off so easily. So there's my there is my lovely, lovely sergeant. Very sexy. Still need to do his backpack, but I'm not taking those off because I won't remember which backpack goes with which. It's my sexy sergeant. Um Stop. It's hot in here. Um, oh, seven B. Is that the same one?
facile.
Hey, someone's playing with the spoons. Sounds like a Sonic the Hedgehog level. Or an anime intro. Yeah. I don't know if said, like a cross code level as well. <laughs> It's a fun little retro style game. Plus, until recently, I haven't really felt like playing Last of Us because of the stupid controller. I have to admit, that really marred my ability to enjoy it last time. Just the controller spinning around. I loved it. I thought it was amazing so far. But that blimmin' spinning controller was insane. Luckily, we've got a new one now, so hopefully that won't be a, an issue anymore. But... Ugh. Oh. You know? Yeah. It's hard to enjoy a stealth game when your camera keeps panning away from the blimmin' thing you're trying to hide from. You know? So you're like, it's over there. No, no, it's over there, it's over there! Yeah, it's no, it's just... panning to the left, doesn't it? Always to the left. The literally, like, NASCAR it so that it stays. Street's newest number, little plastic bits. Not as to make. Makes me want to take a damn break because every time I flick a bit out, it flicks out, flicks all about, 
and then it gets under me nails and goes everywhere and entails her scrubbing off her hands real hard like otherwise it like dust like gets everywhere on my fingers gets all over and lingers it don't just don't go why why gw it's <laughs> Hey, I've, I've heard, I have heard worse from professionals before. Hey, on the fly, oh, okay. it's not too bad. Uh, oh, to the little bit of plastic that I found in my ear one night. <laughs> when did I last build bottles? You've been there since then. I always like that from was it uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy with the Vogons, the, the, the you know the, the Vogon so poetry. This is poetry. Yeah. Oh. Uh, cryptic Norgan, Dira and Dalite. Oh, 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 oh. Awful. Also known as. And then there's one more. It's like worse than Vogon poetry. It's like um, you know yeah. And when he began to compose his final opus, his, his, his final opus, Ode to a Small Lump of Green Putty I Found in My Armpit One Night, oh, he, no. his, his lower intestine, in a desperate attempt to save humanity, leapt up through his throat and strangled his brain. <laughs> yeah, wow, that's, that's from uh, Douglas, uh, Douglas Adams. The King. The king was Douglas Adams. when they did the Lion King remake they didn't like get some African actors or something to do the parts. Did they not? No, it's American actors. Though. Well, I mean, uh, you know, well, John Oliver played the part of the Toucan by um, Zazu. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you know about that? Damn it, I did this whole thing up there. Yeah. Keeping like that. Mini Arms McGraw. Mini Arms McGraw. 
Closed, do you want to let them in? Okay. The window's closed, do you want to let them in? Okay. We can make it in my stream. So oh, Pluto's on, where is he? Hey, play Pluto, how are you? You all right? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? It's behind me. How are you doing, Pluto? Just been mumbling. To... Oh, no problem. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're not going to do that. You haven't been bad. I've just been mumbling to myself about the uh, the, the new um, box sets and things and how, how I feel about them, which has kind of just been me doing a, a self-centered ramble. <laughs> yeah, got the indomitus. So putting it together. Maybe up to Pluto? Yeah, what you be up to, Pluto? I'm just gonna see near you on the couch. I opened the box. I haven't opened my boxes yet. God knows how I've restrained myself. Yeah, it's. I've only just really started taking things off the sprues today. I've been looking at them and salivating over them. But yeah, I got. We got up. Kit and I got our boxes. And they arrived. Um, we got them for the Friday. Actually, I was quite pleased about that. Uh, sorry for the uh, Saturday. 
not the Friday, Saturday, because we weren't allowed to give them on Friday. Yeah. They arrived on the Friday, ready to be we given out on the Saturday. And I got the message saying, it has arrived, tomorrow you can come pick it up. Which is like, yay! Very happy about that. Why have you been restraining yourself, Pluto? It's been work. Is it work, or just Stop. trying to give yourself a nice treat on the weekend, or... I'm copying, I'm copying kitten. It's warming up now, aren't it? Yep. Why else would I do it? I would never do that to you. Do it all the time, I'm, I'm just lovely, I just... Why do you do that to me? Do it all the time to me. Plus, nobody from the one mic feed pick up, so if you talk over me, you can't hear me. If I talk over you, we can't hear you. Okay. These are just sweet models. They're so cool. Very smexy. I ride them on the but I'm splitting them so I'm going to have open with those peeps. Oh, okay, are you keeping the Space Marines and giving away the Necrons then, or. Is that the plan? I just like the fact that you jump on the fact that you're yeah. being given away. <laughs> so, well. <laughs> I know Plutonium likes his Space Marines, so I thought he'd probably be even the Space Marines if he was splitting them. Thank you. Yeah, because to uh, give away the filthy Xenos. <laughs> oh. See, I've kept my filthy Xenos. But uh, Kitten doesn't like Space Marines, so I made her a fair trade and I gave her my Ossiarch Bone Reapers that she's been begging for. I didn't quite see how it was like a fair trade, but I did say that I was curious about painting Space Marines. But I bought them for me. I'll buy you a get started, but I'll, get, I'll buy you a little First Strike box set. Yeah, I agree. I'm not that desperate. Yeah, I don't want to be that desperate. Too many filthy Xenos armies. Yeah. Necro the Necrons look boss though. I've been I've been looking at uh, looking them over, looking at the models, and it's just I love the new aesthetic. The new the new warriors look very good. Um, the Scorpec Lord is just insanely awesome. No, that's your Necrolord. I'm talking about the guy with the giant three legs and the giant big axe he's got in his hands. Oh, yeah, yeah. Scorpec Lord just looks terrifying to fight. Yeah, it's still very nice, yeah. Well, I, I was saying that to Kitten, uh, and the, well, actually, I think she said it first, and then I was like, I agreed with her. But the, the sort of the War of the Worlds aesthetic, with the little three spindly legs guys and stuff. Oh, the tripod guys. Tripod guys, yeah. Just trying to get this arm ready. So, are they, are you, is it Ultramarines that you paint yours out of plutonium? It's Ultramarines, isn't it? The boys in blue. Super Smurfs. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I, I mean, I have an Ultra army as well. I mean, my guys, these are my. Remember my. Hashtag not Blood Ravens. Hashtag still a Blood Raven. My uh, Genesis Marine chapter. Space Marines. Who are basically. Red Ultras. So I've got them. So I've got because I because because uh, 
so I've got, I'm going to be painting one half of Indomitus like this in reds and golds and the other half of my Indomitus is going to be in my Blades of Vengeance Dark, uh, Dark Angels colour scheme just insane a little bit So, so basically, as I said before, they're Dark Angels who don't know they're Dark Angels. I did a lot of freehand on this one, I quite, was quite pleased with the result. He looks pretty awesome, it's the... Actually, I need to send a picture of that to your mum, because that's the present she gave me, isn't it? Is yeah, she gave, oh. me a, she gave me a Dreadnought. Oh, yeah. I really love it. Yeah, These are just super dynamic though. That one I just put together there. Looks like he's really running full pelt at the enemy. I also like how their I also like how their bolter uh, bolt pistol um, uh, not sheets. What they call holsters. It's actually empty. Doesn't have doesn't have the, doesn't have it in it to show. It's actually he's actually carrying his gun at this time. So so yeah, I've got these guys just look beautiful. They're so pretty. I love them. Oh, you should, you should turn tune to see what uh, kitten though. She's painting, going to be painting her uh, Necrons in cyberpunk colours. Isn't that right? You said something something along those lines. Yeah, it's either going to be the Necrons or it's going to be the Osteoc Bone Reapers because they've got the same sort of similar. Do you have any. Style. Plutonium says, do you have any old spindly, silly green rod Necrons? No, we don't because the only Necrons that I have so far are the Forge Bane Necrons that came with the um, Mechanicus. Armagers and things like that. That's the one that I've got. And me. yes, the one that you got me. I've got a unit to blend my stuff. Yeah. And. Oh, um, no, I can use my necklace to do the thing. No! And. Um, <laughs> so I'm not bitter. <laughs> yeah, so, so there's no none of those in there. There's Lich Guard, um, Immortals. And uh, the Cryptek, the new Cryptek model, who's really nice. So we've got uh, got that to add. Oh, and um, what are they called? Tomb scarabs? No, wraiths. Tomb wraiths. Yes, yeah, so we got those. We got those to add to the army as well. So they they still fit the aesthetic, which is nice. Although we didn't see anything about the um, immortals on the new stuff, so I'm interested to see if they're not in the army anymore, or if they are and. I don't think people will get rid of them because they're pretty good. Ah, uh, the spare weapons from the Indomitus make good retro weapons on the spindly rod guns. Oh, do they? Ah, okay. There are spare weapons on the Indomitus box set. Cool. You also said that somebody did some really cool Frankenstein with their gun. What was the gun again? That's something made using an autistic. Oh, I can't remember that. It was really cool though. Whatever. I, I, I definitely remember. It was remember like it. a chainsaw gun though. It was a. Uh, you mentioned it earlier, like near the start of the stream. You oh! It. Yeah, they did. Um, the guy who did the Space Wolf one basically That's replaced the, like, the head with like, the sc wolf skull and had a frost blade instead of, it, instead of the Justicar sword. Um, Judica, Judith, Judicius, Judicius, so, um, loving this, I'm, in, I'm interested in Plutonium, what do you think of the new starter box set, what's your opinion on the new starter box set?
Raw machinery is great, but the smaller ones are good to beef up armies. Yeah, I mean, I, I was talking about that with Kitten earlier, about like sort of like the benefit of of, of scenery over more models. And I was just saying the only, one thing I would have liked is just to see in the uh, in the big box sets with the with the scenery. I really think it would have been cool to give them like. Um, I don't know, like, include an Eradicator squad for the Space Marines and uh, include the Canoptic Reanimator, maybe. And that way you'd have, like, a uh, an HQ, a Troops, an Elite or a Fast, and some sort of Heavy. And that way you kind of have, like, a little bit of everything. And so I, I think it would be, I mean, it would have been like, what, another model of former models to include in it? I mean, it's a good start set, but I think it would have been, like, interesting if they maybe had given, like, something like that to them as well. As well, I mean, the scenery looks good. I don't think I need it at all because I've done the, um, uh, I've got tons of scenery with my, oh, what was it called? Either at Warcry or Kill Team or uh, Conquest? Conquest, yeah, my one more Conquest. Yeah, they could have chucked in. Some scenery in Indomitus would have been good for a little more. <laughs> uh, I mean, the thing is with, with Indomitus is I kind of think they, I, I think they kind of knew what they were doing. However, maybe something like a piece of, like, specialized scenery would have been interesting. Like, you know, um... Like they like we're doing Age of Sigma, you know. Like Age of Sigma, each army has been getting like its own special piece of terrain. So maybe some sort of like Space Marine specific piece of terrain, Necron specific piece of terrain that each army can kind of like bring free would be kind of cool. Um, like I don't know, I don't know what the Space Marines would have. Uh, maybe some sort of drop pod like thing which can repair vehicles or can cool down an orbital bombardment or something like that once per game. Um, for the Necrons it'd be something like a maybe it'd be like a, like a, a Blackstone Obelisk which would be quite cool. Uh, I mean that would have been interesting to have like a sort of like a thing you could bring with your army. A bit like they've been doing in Age of Sigma, which would be pretty cool. But the, the only problem with that is of course then it's kind of obligatory to have that piece of terrain. And I mean, I have I have lots of Age of Sigma armies, but I don't really have any of the specialized terrain for them. So I'm probably neutering. Uh, well, neutering sounds a bit too harsh. Shooting myself in the foot, maybe. Yeah, just say, uh, should you want to go down that? Don't don't want to go down that route. A17. Yeah, so getting these all together. Turn a bit of a smoke box in here at the moment now. Oh, yeah. Try opening the window again for a short period of time. Yeah, I'm going to go to the nice Oh, yeah, Indomitus was aimed at a season hobbyist. Yeah, maybe. But then if he did that, people, not many as many people might have bought Indomitus. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's still a marketing strategy, isn't it? We're being told these models will disappear and you'll never see them again except outside of them, uh, except like buying them in blister packs, which will cost you three times as much. And we're like, we must have the box set. And then like the box set comes out well, and then it's well, like... That's the model, though. That's, they've always done that. That's the scarcity demand that most businesses use. It's FOMO. It's <laughs> fear of missing out. Every hobbyist was like, I might not even play Space Marines, but I want the book. And so I'll start a Necron army if it means getting the book, my hands on the book early. And then, of course, everyone orders it. And then the book, then they pre order the book as well. <laughs> They got us. They got us good again. But I have to say, 
you got you gotta admit, for the price that you pay for Indomitus, it's the it's definitely worth it. There's some really good stuff in there. It's definitely worth the price. It wasn't it wasn't as over ever expensive as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like 150 or something like that. And the fact that it ended up just being, you know, 125 and for us 130 euros. I had a break I have a breakdown. What's the breakdown? Money breakdown or you had you had a you had a break you had a nervous breakdown thinking you you had a breakdown or you have one, you're still having one. Like the idea of like I couldn't get it. Quarter price of individual units. The actual indominus, yeah it is. It's like you wanna buy this box set, you're basically spending like yeah, like you said, like a quarter of what you pay if you bought it individually. I mean, you only have to look at Shadow Spear to see how that works. I mean, Shadow Spear, the the box set was great, but then like you get the um, the captain is like twenty two euros on his own, as is the librarian, another twenty two euros, and neither of them come in the new get started box set. It's all about the cheap pachin. Yep. So basically, if you buy everything in the Space Marine set separately then you couldn't have got the, the chaos set at all the chaos set would would have been like completely free oh i don't know if there's like anything missing from the chaos set sounds like something like like a really techno version of what used to play in the clubs at scotland if you want to change, just let me know. Might switch over to rock if you don't mind. I'm so happy my mouse is back. Stopping in about five minutes because it's midnight then. But it's midnight before we stop then. Tapestry then finish, yeah. Plus, I'm sweaty. I want to stand up. Well, of course, it's. This doesn't sound like rock to me. Did you put on like mellow? No, I put on rock. I like it. It's cool. It's stupid. It's pretty bad, but it's fine. Hi there. Did you use the paint pens for it? Yeah, I don't like them. Not a filling. That's fair enough. I don't know. Maybe if I was doing like. Um, if I had like normal, I was like, you'll be careful though, because if you go over with a second pen, you've got a high chance you're going to take off a bit of paper. Yeah. Uh, I don't you need thicker paper to do it on. Maybe watercolour paper would work best. Because they are basically watercolours. I forget you're an hour ahead. Yeah, yeah, it's a. Uh, we're an hour ahead and it just like catches up, you know? We, we have definitely been setting in the uh, stereotype myth of siestas. Oh god, but they're great, aren't they? I mean, you, you can sort of like ignore the hottest part of the day just by sleeping through it. It's brilliant. Being able to do that because we're on holiday. <laughs> it's not, not a common everyday occurrence. Normally I'm working through my siesta. Just like the kids. Kids, take them siesta now. <laughs> no more work today. Teacher has spoken. The British Cup of tea. 
Mm -hmm. Ah, it's not siesta. Tea time is not siesta. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you? I <laughs> love that. Yeah, you didn't sleep. You cocked out. You cocked out on the bed, but you didn't actually sleep. As I did. I did. I slept like three to. Uh, fitfully, because it was hot, but I didn't sleep. You, you laid on the tile. I went and lay down on the tiles. It was so much cooler than lying on the bed. It's meant to be about what, 30 degrees Friday. Oh god, don't even don't get me started. But, but it's supposed to be like that in Whitstable as well. I know. They're talking about climate change. <laughs> yeah. Mm, we're living through it. Oh, hot sums are great. Yeah, they are to they kill you. <laughs> Not wrong. Two showers a day just to stay, just to stay like roasting in my own apartment. So one problem with being top floor apartment where we get absolutely we get everything. We get, we get all the sun and we get hit by it. And then in the evening we get all the heat from the apartments below us rising and heating up our apartment. So Petonian, we're gonna we're gonna see you on uh, on Saturday. Might you might pop your head in. You got uh, and also don't forget you got to give us some um, some new stuff for the tapestry. Awesome. Yeah, if, uh, and also yeah, because we want to see your uh, your ultramarines again. Hey, sit this. Hey, sit this. Add some more stuff, definitely. That's great. I'm loving the new minus one AP on these Space Marine chainsaws. So now we have Space Marines bolters are just better, and Space Marines chainsaws are just better. I do wonder if they're gonna do that for um, for Chaos Space Marines too in the new version. Where the Space Marine chainsaws, Astartes chainsaws, will be the same for the Chaos Space Marines as well. Because that would kind of make sense, I would have thought. Unless these are like the new super cool revised chainsaws used by Primaris Marines only. But they are called Astartes chainsaws. So. Hey cat.
Hey, Loki. Blocking the way. in just to say hi. Ah, oh, fair I was in the chat, my phone died, so I have no clue. <laughs> or it might just be lurking. Loki! Hello. 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 Just quickly finishing this and then we'll do the tapestry. I'll be finishing in two seconds anyway. No, but like do the tapestry. Um. I just change it over there. And I go through the pictures that I wanted to time or something. I'll probably have to show you the slate, sure you know which one's which. <laughs> yeah, there's no greys and there's no like cream colours, so I'm a bit buggered really when trying to do the uh, bone colours. Alright, do you want us to, should we switch over to the tapestry now? Because I can talk about it while I'm finishing this up. Oh, you need hands. Switch you over, to, and I'll, cl I'll click them one by one. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You switch over. You have to open them each. Alright, so we'll jump over to the tapestry then. So please bear with me because this is an old angle. Ah. So. So here we have the mug, um, uh, the was it the cleric mug done for uh, mm -hmm. printed by a base of operations, uh, painted up himself. Looks absolutely delightful. I would definitely bring that to the Pope as something he could drink his his beer out of. Now it's an awful, just like awfully like amazing. <laughs> amount of detail in there. Sorry, I know I said awful, I don't want to pause an awful. An awfully amazing amount of detail on there. And 
I, I, it, do you it's think absolutely awful great. Because other people are seeing it, and they're like, they're like, they're, they're no, no. I mean, I, I, I meant so to say can't. awfully, and then I, then I, my, I had a brain stop. No, there. I meant like if you saw that in an actual D and D game, people are like, well, we're going to rob that, and that's going to pay us. Well, you wouldn't want to carry that around with you in D and D, yeah, because particularly in my well, games, well, that would be like lifetimes earnings. That would pretty much so be you, like you feel awful yeah. seeing someone have that and not having. But no, I, 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 but I did not mean to pause there. <laughs> I, was like, just, I had, I, I had, a, I had a brain, hole. brain worm. I was trying to get you out of the, uh, of the thing. Hole. No, it was no hole. I just literally had a brain yeah, worm. Yeah, hole. Can you stop making it more than it is? What did you do? Uh, so that's basic operations. All right. So uh, another one of my base operations is, is the his um. Customs. Now we showed this off on Saturday, but it's absolutely All brilliant. Oh, we showed on Saturday, Saturday yeah. but it's absolutely brilliant. So we have uh, custodian Captain Valorus, uh, who is the um, like the leader of the custodians, and you've got a painter that was a member of the Solar Watch. Um, I mean, white is difficult to paint the best of times, but it's a combination of fantastic colours here. Very romantic, sort of whites, reds, golds. Mm. Um, giant axe as well. You've got your fasces, um, which is the name for the axe that the people used to carry around and attack people with. Um, just, I mean, he looks—he looks like the emperor himself, really, in that sort of color scheme. He looks like he could be uh, the leader of the Imperium, but no, he's not. He's like the—he's like the sort of like the top bodyguard of the emperor. What the emperor would look like then? If that's what the bodyguard looks like. Well, that's interesting because in 40k, the, the emperor looks like different things to different people. Oh, of course, if you see one throwing me. Well, well, no, he, even like when he was alive. We'll even when he was alive, he looked the same. He looked like. Uh... Hey, Plutonians. All right, and the next one is Plutonians, which we talked to you about Plutonians if you're still watching or, or lurking. I'll just um, the chat back up so you can. Uh... Yeah. What do you mean? Claim anglaise, white custard. <laughs> but this is the artificer's workbench. This is uh, the Sentinels of Ember Community Army, um, which is a, a passion project of plutoniums here. Space Marine, um, Ultramarine's uh, primary successor company. Looks absolutely brilliant. Uh, I love the war-torn base. Looks like he's walking through an urban war field. Uh, battlefield, sorry. Like um, also, the combination of yellows and whites and blacks and greys, just absolutely fantastic. I love the weathering on the, on the army as well, model as well. Yeah, it's like what I said to you like on Saturday. I don't think I was before Pluto popped in actually, but then I said they, it's, it's really hard to do orange. You know, and I think Pluto's done orange actually several times now. I'm just like, it's all you. Know, you do you do orange really well. I like I like I do like the, the dusty sort of uh, sort of what do we say like umber kind of orange. Yeah, it's it's ochre. It's like sort ochre. of ochre, like sort of orangey, orangey yellow, orangey brown sort of thing. I, mean, I I would see my towel col my towel warriors painted with that color scheme if I wanted to say they're from Biola. Um, no, absolutely love it. Absolutely brilliant. And then the next one I believe is also from Sentinels of Ember, same chapter. And this is his lieutenant model. You can see also that uh, Plutonium has been taking advantage of the fact that you can have a um, you can take advantage of the fact that uh, you can have thunder hammers now with your uh, guys. I'm, I'm hoping when the rules come out that these guys can have thunder hammers too, because that would be awesome. Run in, smack someone with a thunder hammer. That would be fantastic. Um, I think we'll probably see a lot of that once the codex has come out. People revamping their armies, <laughs> but. Um, this is the yeah. This is the primary lieutenant auto bolt rifle. Um, I love the I, I love the laurels. I love the the green laurels that are like sort of around the helmet and around the arm. Very ultramarines. Um, you, but you've also got like the chapter symbol, which is the burning flame. You've got the is it, I think it's a burning flame, um, and then you've got uh, it, like the um, these sort of almost like the elite badge on the other shoulder. Um, you can't go wrong with a good skull with like a red symbol around it. Ah, love it. I did that as well. Um, I, but also I love the use of the terrain from the Kill Team box set to make 
I, I uh, thought to, to I did, well, it Hey, stop it, you two. Cat, sorry. Cat. What was it that I said? This looked like, for some reason, when I first saw this bit of the terrain, little F bombs, um, but no, the, I said that this sort of bit of terrain actually, for some reason, looked like a really big, like, metal um, robotic hand or something. And it actually looks like been. a building. But it's like, I know, just it's like you've got the, the fingers. Yeah, like, those like the Iron and Giant's like, hand. Yeah, the Iron Giant's hand. Yeah. So now Shane Man has got the Iron Giant's hand. If it was, it would be far bigger on his uh, thing. So. Uh, and the last one, I've, it go down? Yeah, because I've done. You've done the Lieutenant, so one, it's the next one down. Oh, I did it. I already yeah, had yeah. it. No, just get on. No. Get on. No. I'm helping. No, you're not helping. I'm helping. It's one helping. up. It's one up. Hang on. One up. Yeah, why you, one more. Why didn't you leave it alone? You tell me if you leave it alone. Leave it alone. Yeah, it was great, right? I had it on. You didn't have it on. No, you missed one. You missed one. You missed one. There he is. Cat's a stabby. Sorry, what did you say? I missed one. Missed one. And then you got it right. Oh. Took a while. Here you get the. It's gonna kill me. Oh, like that. That's good. Yeah, Captain Stabby, gotta love it. I love the I love the Reavers. I, I'm a bit sad about how they might be treated in the new coming upcoming thing because of just how much their their sort of like their their whole turf is being taken over by assault intercessors and um, by um, all the new stuff that's come out for the Vanguard units. So I'm looking forward to seeing hopefully how they improve in the new series, so we can keep using them because I love the Reavers and. I'm gonna be quick about these ones because I've been seen before. But this is my yeah, this is my um, Dreadnought, my uh, Blades of Vengeance, Dark Angels, Successor Chapter, Dreadnought using the quick build kit. Um, lots of I did lots of freehand on this. I tried to do my best to do some freehand, some mural work, a bit of um, badges and stuff, trying to make it look good. I think it came out pretty well. I was quite pleased with it. I'm quite happy with the base, particularly the sort of the uh, managed to get some interesting painting going on there. And yeah, I'm really happy with that. Came out nicely. Look forward to including him with my Indomitus. And the next one is um, Janus Drake. Still not 100% finished yet because I've sort of been too interested in doing Indomitus. Um, but he's my Blackstone Fortress rogue trader character who's yet to embark on a single adventure yet, but will soon, hopefully, embark on his first adventure into the Blackstone um, as soon as I've finished off him and uh, Kitten's character, who is the uh, Elven Ranger, who we'll be using as well. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with him. I like the colour scheme. It came out nicely. Purple and, purple and, purple and teal. I hadn't done that before, so I was happy with the combination. Plus he's wearing flashy clothes, and should be wearing flashy clothes. Oh, yeah, I remember this last week. Oh, yeah, so this one is Base of Operations, bizarre Cat thing. Lord. Cat Lord. that he printed for you, didn't he? No, he didn't so print you... specifically for me. I know, but to show you. He... No, no, what he did was he, um... He set up his uh, the the program he uses for slicing on his resin, right? So he can basically compile what he wants to print. So like like pro like projects, and so like when he opens it, it already has its position of where it's going to come on when it gets sliced. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, and so I was like, cats do cats. So he's just trying to fit all the animal, like, all the cat-like things from the monster's handbook on there, and one of them was was this. Weirdo, 
purchasing the books, really. But I, it's like I said to you before when uh, we showed up in d and it was like the colours look so inviting. And it, and, it, and it trips you up because when you actually look at what it actually is, it's like, nope. It's a monster with giant teeth and giant tentacles. Yeah. <laughs> Counter that, you definitely run away. Yeah. But I just, I just think, I really just like that contrast between it's a really nasty monster, but the colours are Wait, like, so he's, so, he's so cute. Yum, yum, yum. Like, no, it's not a good one. Uh, and then we have the Hillside Nebula. Is that the last one? Um, Okay, so our last picture today is the Hillside Nebula by Bob. Just Bob. And uh, yeah, we all really enjoyed the, this one, didn't we? Like looking at the blurred uh, sort of colour outlines. If we, it's kind of almost like impressionist, isn't it? You kind of see yeah. like a different things uh, depending on who you I said that I kind of saw like a, um, like, sh um, um, what's the word? Like protective, like. How she Yeah, and uh, what was it? Um, what was it that um, uh, Nick said he saw like a cat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We realised that there was like a cat. You got the ear like around here. I think it was like the ear over here, and then it sort of like curves around. Oh my god, yeah. And so I started to see it, although I, I at this angle with the laptop, I can't see it. To me, there. also, this also kind of looked a little bit like a reflection in water because it's got yeah. that sort of rippling pattern. So yeah, absolutely love it. It's fantastic work. Thanks. Uh, plutonium for the uh, the nice for the uh, uh, for, for the for the compliment. <laughs> I, I, mean, I love your work too, so I'm really I really enjoy uh, looking through and seeing your stuff every week. All right, um, we're going to be ending the stream here, guys. You've been absolutely amazing, but it's past midnight for us and we're knackered, so we're going to say goodnight tonight and uh, hopefully see you again for our next work in progress Wednesday. I'm going to take a picture of this, put it on my Instagram, so I can show it's been. So just to be more uh, like clear, it should be still Saturdays as always for um, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Curse which is currently our Curse of Strahd of the Endar campaign. Um, and on Wednesdays we'll be doing Work in Progress Wednesdays, where we're actually doing some pick, we're doing some building and some painting and, and things like that. Um, yeah. Do we have an idea of time for like when for like quick Wednesdays? I would have thought most. I mean, like we did today, most days around about. Um, Maybe about ten Wednesdays. Maybe about or mid, maybe, mid evening, the, the early timing evening. may timing may change. See you on Saturday. Thanks for telling you. Uh, time may change depending when you get back to work because I might have to move forward a bit, so I'm not going to bed so late. All right, guys, take care. Thank you so much, and see you on Saturday. Bye.
been over.